singer Glenn Campbell, basketball trailblazer Perry Wallace and social icon Jane Dudley are among those who left a lasting impact on Nashville. Karen Grigsby slash The Tennessean Greg Allman, photo, Joe Howell slash AP photo 2017 saw the loss of many Nashville music giants, including country legends Glenn Campbell and Mel Tillis and, in one particularly tragic day, Troy Gentry and Don Williams. Whether they were born in Music City or just called Nashville home a short while, they all made lasting impacts that will live on. Harry's a look back at 21 hitmakers and the contributions they made. A Nashville native, Greg Allman was a soulful singer and songwriter whose work with the Allman Brothers Band set the stage for Southern rock and jam bands and influenced several generations of players. During its five-decade run, the band had several hits, including Ramblin' Man and Jessica. Allman died May 27 at the age of 69. More, Greg Allman dies at 69. Chuck Berry, photo, Mark Andrew Dealey slash file slash Getty Images. One of rock and roll's key architects, Chuck Berry who died March 18 at age 90 also left an immeasurable mark on country's sound, and several generations of Nashville artists. Marty Robbins cracked the top 10 with his own version of Barry's Maybelline, and Buck Owens scored a hit with Johnny B. Good. Barry's singular influence on Music City was formally recognized in 1982, when he was inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame. More, how Chuck Berry's love of country inspired Nashville. Jesse Boyce, photo, photo via jessieboyce.net. During his 40-plus year career, Jesse Boyce worked as a session musician, producer, songwriter, label owner, and businessman. He spent more than 30 years playing bass for rock and roll icon Little Richard. His songs were recorded by acts including The Temptations, who cut his song Firely in 1975. Boyce died August.17. More, musician, songwriter, and producer Jesse Boyce dies. Freeman Brown, in white jacket, photo, submitted. Freeman Brown was a drummer who set the beat for Etta James and jammed with Jimi Hendrix. He died January.17 at age 74. More, drummer Freeman Brown dead at 74. Glenn Campbell, photo, Larry McCormick slash file slash the Tennessean. A guitar virtuoso, a TV host and an influential singer whose hits included Gentle On My Mind, Galveston, Wichita Lineman, and Rhinestone Cowboy, Glenn Campbell died August. 8, two months after the release of his last album. The Country Music Hall of Famer was 81 and had been battling a public years-long battle with Alzheimer's disease. More, Glenn Campbell, Rhinestone Cowboy singer, dead at 81. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Steve Chapman, at left, photo, courtesy of Bill Anderson. Guitarist Steve Chapman played on the road and in the studio with a number of country artists, including Ernest Tubb, Bill Anderson, Reno and Smiley, and Mandy Barnett. He died July 29 at age 74. More, guitarist Steve Chapman dead at 74. Richard Dobson. Photo, Bruno Scalco. Richard Dobson was an enigmatic songwriter and author who wrote songs recorded by Johnny and June Carter Cash, Guy Clark, Nancy Griffith, and many others. He made more than 20 albums, co wrote the title track to Clark's celebrated 1988 Old Friends album, and was respected by some of American music's most esteemed songwriters.